Inside the package on the left, we have a laser that's a one watt laser and a screwdriver and some small attachment screws. We've also got a USB port as well as a few other bits and pieces. The laser also comes wrapped up so that the platform doesn't get damaged in shipping. They also gave us this cute little cardboard burn. You can see I have attached the laser portion, one watt or a thousand milliwatts, whatever you want to call it. It's on a little hanging platform, a little bit loose, but stays secure enough for laser work. There isn't a lot of travel on this. As you can see, this is a very small piece of cardboard and the software is fairly easy to use. Let's open up an image here and see what we can do with it. So here we have an image that we can place right here on the cutting diagram. And if we hit the carve preview box, it'll actually draw a box around the area where the laser is going to cut. If you then click on stop in the middle, which is the button just below the carve button right here. It'll actually stop right in the center there so that you know where your cut is going to be. You can also use the letter icon to type in words on the screen, or of course, you could do this in any other editing program and also select the font, hit okay, and now I've added words to my picture. Adjust the laser by twisting it to make the point as sharp as possible on your cutting object. And once you do that, just hit the start button and you can start carving into your material. This is just a piece of cardboard and it took about three and a half to four minutes uh, to actually carve this out. Uh, I've got this playing right now at about 6x real time so you can kind of get an idea what's going on. As you can see on the image, it actually goes red as it completes portions of the cut while it is going through the item that you have on screen. So it helps you kind of keep track of where the laser is at. Works pretty well, very easy to use. Not a huge surface area though. So if you're planning on doing something bigger than say maybe two inches by two inches, you're out of luck. Here's the final carve as you can see with it focus it looks pretty good. And you can also do other materials. This for example is a cracker that I lasered up uh, just to do a design in because I thought it'd be funny to have a cracker that's edible. You could also probably do cookies or any number of other food products if you really want to, as well as wood or what have you. Overall, pretty decent laser for a hundred bucks. Well worth it if you need a small engraving laser.